Hello lovely people, in this video I'm going to share with you my latest buy of a travel tripod because I think it's one of the best things that I have ever bought and during the process I'm going to be telling you what makes a good travel tripod. Now as a disclaimer here, I am not being sponsored, I'm not being paid by anybody, I bought this out of my own money and I'm bringing you this video because I know it's a hot topic with all of my online learners and Facebook to face learners so hopefully this is going to help you out if you're looking for a travel tripod or it's something that you are thinking of buying in the future this video is going to be for you okay let's get on with it Hello guys, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography where we teach you photography properly in a structured way by professional teachers. Okay, let's tell you about my new travel tripod. Firstly, let's do the traditional unboxing. There's the box, it's unboxed. Now let's talk about the tripod. So here it is, it's called the Benro Travel Flat and I'll just read it off the thing here the travel flat ftf 29a and this is why i think it's so brilliant as a travel tripod here we go -da -da. it packs down to this size and it packs down flat it also comes with a case let me get that and here it is now in its case. Now you can just see how easy that's going to be to put it in the bottom of your suitcase or your travel luggage, camera bag, or even you can hold it with a strap or whatever you want to do. And I've never seen a, a tripod that packs down flat before. And that was the first thing that I thought was really, really good about this tripod. Right, now let's take it out of the case and open it to its full height again. And this time we're not going to do a fast forward shot, we're going to do an epic drone shot. So it opens up to this height, this is its full height. Um, I'll tell you the specs in a minute. And it also comes with this as well. This is like an extra bit that sits on top here and it can open up to that. So that would be the full height. Now I am about five foot 10 and that's how high it can go. Now that is more than high enough in my opinion. Let's just close that down. And just look at how sturdy that actually is. I mean, that is a really sturdy tripod. And for the size that it packs down to, I just think that that's fantastic. It comes with a ball head. I'm not a major fan of ball heads, but for compact ability, if that's a word, um, you need a ball head. If you travel tripod, I'm afraid if you want it to be compact, you're gonna need to have a ball head. The next thing, is it comes with these twist locks here. Now, again, I'm more of a fan of the click locks, not the twist locks, but if you need a travel tripod, you need it to be small, and that's why you have these twist locks, because it makes it more compact. Now, this will easily hold a big camera with a big lens. Then we're just going to get the technical specs, because they're on the box that I threw away earlier on. Here's the box and it's got the specs on it. Uh, the maximum load is eight kilograms. Now, a 5D Mark IV with a 24 to 105 lens, which is probably as big as it gets. Um, that is about five kilograms. So this is going to easily hold any type of camera that you've got. The weight of the actual tripod, the weight of the actual tripod is 2.24 kilograms it's actually um, less than that because that little bit that i showed you a bit earlier on i'm never going to carry that around with me because i won't need it so it'll be a bit less than that and that is absolutely fine for a travel tripod now you can get 
the carbon fiber version of this for an extra hundred pounds or so if you want to, well, if you want to waste your money. And I'll tell you why you shouldn't really worry about wasting your money on carbon fiber tripods because weight holds stuff to the ground. And this is 2.2 kilograms for argument's sake. If you can't walk around with 2.2 kilograms, then I don't really know what to say to you really. Man up, grab a tripod and go around with it. It's not that heavy and the weight of it will hold your camera to the ground and that's what you want. Some people say you can get tripods with hooks and you can hang your camera bag on them. Well, what you're doing in that situation is creating a lovely pendulum to swing your tripod around with. I also was uh, told about the carbon fiber one. Um, oh, you can take a sandbag around with you and then hang the sandbag on it. Well, if you're gonna take a sandbag around with you and a carbon fiber tripod, what's the point? You've still got to carry the weight around with you. So my advice is just get the aluminium. This is an aluminium one. Just get that, save yourself 100 quid. The weight's gonna do you a favor anyway. And if you can't carry two kilograms around with you, then just pack this game in and go home. Now the pierce de resistance with this tripod is it also turns into a monopod. And what self-respecting photographer does not want a monopod? Um, I will fast forward and show you the monopod. <laughs> Ta -da! and there's the monopod i think that is really really cool and again if you want a higher monopod i don't know why you would you could put that extra bit on top and then put the uh, ball head on top of that if you wanted to but that is absolutely brilliant as a monopod and a ball head simple as that okay now let's talk about the cost this cost me 140 pounds and I got it at the photography show. It was a show deal, the photography show in the UK. It's a big trade event. Now the recommended retail price for it, 220 pounds, but that is top end. And I, and I doubt that you'll be paying that because you can get deals wherever you want to. Now this is where the negative part comes into it. If you're in the UK, Benro told me at the photography show that they are gonna discontinue this for sale in the UK. They're still making them, and if you're in the US and wherever else you are in the world, you can still buy these. But apparently, in the UK, they're not gonna be for sale anymore. Now, if you know different to that, because obviously things change, if you know different to that, please put it in the comment below, comments below, and other people can then see. And I will also put links in the description of this video so that you can go and see this on Amazon. And if it is available in the UK or becomes available in the UK, I'll also put that link um, in the description as well. Now I was looking for a good travel tripod for a long time and I think that this is one of the best things that I have bought. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. I've been doing photography for many, many years and I've been teaching it for many, many years as well. And the, all that I've told you in this video is my opinion. And I hope that it has helped you out. Now, if you wanna learn photography, come over to the schoolofphotography.com where we teach you photography properly online and in a structured way by professional, fully qualified teachers. We've been doing it a long time, we know what we're doing, and we can really teach you photography. So come over and see us. If you've liked this video, please like it and share it with your friends. It really helps us out. If you've got something to say, put it in the comments below, share it with others, share your experiences. That really helps us out as well. Thanks for watching, and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.